Now just as a quick review before we get started with our editing, we've imported two video clips, two different waterfall sound clips, some chirping birds, a music clip, and a voiceover that we recorded. So before we get started with our editing, let's just preview what we got. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Now obviously that is terrible. We're hearing all the clips at the same volume, there's no compression, and the video is not even edited. So that's what we're going to start. We're going to start with our video. So I'm going to rewind to the top. And one more reminder, when I'm editing video, I like to work in a time-based timeline versus a beat-based timeline. And in case Mixcraft had defaulted to beats, you can change it up here next to the timeline. Click on beats and you'll see that it's segmented into beats. But we're going to stay in time. First thing I want to do is mute all my audio channels. Now my reason for doing this is in this kind of video where I got a bear and obviously the bear is not talking, I want to edit the video for timing versus using the audio and the video for timing. Now depending on what kind of video you're editing, you may or may not want to hear the audio. Obviously in this video we don't. Next thing I want to do is increase the size of my video track. I can do this in a number of ways. One way is to hover over the bottom of the track and you'll see an up and down arrow and you can just drag this arrow down and change the height of the track. Or you can right click on the track, go down to height. You'll see small, normal, and large. We're going to go large. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and my first video clip that I want to use is the waterfall which on our timeline is the second clip so I'm gonna click and hold and drag the bear video out of the way and I'm gonna move the waterfall up front now I can zoom in again at the top of my video I want about five seconds worth of video before it transitions into the bear video now I'm also keeping in mind that I want a little bit of a crossfade, so let's go and pick six seconds instead. Next thing we're going to do is split this video. And we said we wanted about six seconds. So if we go up here to six seconds, we can click up here in the timeline. You can see that all that happened was that the playhead moved to six seconds. We can't really edit using this. So I'm going to rewind it to the top. Now if I click in the video, it's a little difficult to see, but you'll see your typical selection tool pop up. You can actually select this video, but I don't want to do that either. What I want to do is I want to go up into this upper bar here and click in here. And it's a little difficult to see, but you will see a little triangle up in the upper left hand corner and then down below it in the audio tracks you'll see a dashed vertical line. This is where the edit point will be. Now again you can do things a number of different ways in Mixcraft. To do a split edit you can go to edit and down to split or you can use the keyboard shortcut control T or the way that I'm gonna do it is going back to my edit point right click and go to split. Now you'll know that the track split because now we're seeing two distinct video clips and we know that because each one up here in clip one and here in clip two now since we split it there's a video clip preview button. You can click this and preview your video as you can see in the video pane. And if we click here, it'll preview this first part of the video. Obviously, they look the same, so you can't really tell the difference. Next thing I'm going to do is zoom out. And I'm going to move the second clip over. And I'm going to bring back my Alaska Bear clip. We'll zoom in a little bit more.
Now if I butt these two up against one another, I'm going to put the playhead at three seconds and push play. Now watch the video preview pane. You'll notice that the video just went from one clip to the other. Let's do that again. Here it comes. Now that's not what I want. What I want is a crossfade, a smooth transition from one clip to another. Now just click and hold the bear's clip and move it over to the left. You'll notice some white diagonal lines. That's your crossfade right there. So if we go back to the three seconds, push play, and watch the preview window. It was a smooth transition and that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for about a second and a half to two seconds. That's what I'm comfortable with. I'm going to rewind to the top and just take a look at it. I'm making a mental note of what I want to see and I like that. Now let me zoom out again find that other clip that we split and do a crossfade there. Zoom in a little bit, preview that one. So I wanted the bear to land before the waterfall came in and that's exactly what I'm looking for. The next thing we're going to look at is editing the audio for this clip.